All right, guys, so we can now read our posts. We can go to a details page. We can add them. Now we want to try to add the edit functionality or not try to, but we will add the edit and update functionality. So let's go to the details page because that's where we want the button. We want an edit button here. So we'll go to resources, views, posts, details dot edge. And we're going to go. Let's see, we'll go under the paragraph. Let's put an HR here. And then we're going to put an A tag. I'll give it a class of BTN, BTN dark. href is going to be slash uh, posts slash edit and then slash the ID, which will be post.id. All right. And then let's see inside here. Let's just say edit. Now I want this to float to the left as well. So I'm going to add an extra class or a couple extra classes. One is going to be D dash block. And then one's going to be float left and save. Okay, now we have an edit button. Now if I click it, we'll get an error because we didn't create that route. So let's go to our routes. And this is going to be a get request. Make sure it goes above this right here. Okay, so it's going to be slash post slash edit slash colon ID. And it's going to go to post controller dot edit. OK, and all this is going to take care of is loading the form. The update is what's going to do the update. So let's go to our controller and let's add the edit. OK, I'm actually going to copy the add method here and go down to the bottom under store and change this to edit. Now, the difference between add and edit is we need params with edit. So we're going to go like that. And then we're going to fetch that post just like we did with details. So if we go up here, we can actually just copy this. And then we just want to pass in post post. OK, but we want to render post dot edit. So we'll save that. And then let's go and create that edit view. So we'll say Adonis make view edit or post edit. I keep doing that. OK, so now the edit is going to be almost identical to the ad page. So I'm going to copy add dot edge. And then put that in edit dot edge and then just change this to edit post and change the action. Now, this is this is actually kind of cool how they do it. Now, we want to make a put request. OK, a, an HTTP put request is what you use when you want to update something that's already on the server. Now, you can't make a put request through a form by default. We can't say method put. It's either get or post. So what Adonis does is it gives us the option to add inside of the action uh, some double curly braces. All right, and then we can do slash posts slash and then we want to add on the ID so we can say slash posts. Let's concatenate post. Actually, you know what? I should be able to just do this. No, I can't do that. I can't do the curly braces again. So we're going to have to just concatenate post.id concatenate again and then what what we can do to make this a put request is we can put a question mark underscore method equals and then put so instead of making a post request this will actually make a put request this works very similar to the method override module that we use with express to do this kind of stuff but this is included by default with Adonis. OK, the other thing we want to do here 
is we want for the value we want to just change this to actually I don't think maybe we can just use the old let's see what this does so we'll save this and let's go back and go to the edit invalid expression let's see what did I do wrong here I think I need my this is my quote right there all right so it's not showing the field so we're gonna have to just change the value here to post dot title like that and then this one uh, let's see this is gonna be post dot body there we go all right so now we have our edit page now this is going to get uh, it's going to be a put request to post slash and then the ID. So we're going to have to go back to our routes. And we're going to add a put request. So we'll say route dot put. It's going to be to slash post slash colon ID. And then it's going to map to post controller dot update. So we'll save that. Let's go to our post controller and create an update. Now this is going to take in a bunch of stuff. First of all, we need params because we're dealing with a specific post. We need request, response, and session. All right, so first thing we're going to do uh, let's see we can do the validation so we'll just copy this I mean there's already stuff in there you don't have to do this but I guess we'll just include it okay and then we're gonna create a const post equals await uh, await post dot find and we want to find it by params.id. Okay, and then we want to just set the post.title equal to whatever's in the form. So we get that with request dot uh, input title post.body equals request dot input body. And then we can do await post dot save. Okay, and then we just want to re, uh, set our flash message. So session dot flash. Pass in here notification. And we'll say post updated. All right, then we just want to redirect. So return response dot redirect. And we want to go to slash posts. All right, so hopefully that works. Let's save that. Let's reload this page and let's change it to post in the number one and submit post updated. And there we go. It's updated post one. If I reload still there. Awesome. So now we want the delete. OK, so let's go back to the details <clears throat> now. In the details, we have our edit button, right? But we can't just put in a, a, a link for a delete. Um, we have to make a delete request. So we're going to have to use a form. So we're going to say form action and we're going to use that same technique that we did with the put request. So we're going to say slash posts slash and then concatenate the ID and then we want to say question mark underscore method equals delete like that all right but we do want to put method post here pretty sure we need that Okay, and then all we want is a button. Actually, let's put in our CSRF field. All 
and then we want a button. This button is going to be submit. Let's give it a couple classes. So BTN, BTN danger, make it red. And then we also want to display as a block and we want to float to the right. Okay, let's save that, reload. And now we have a delete button. So this is going to make a delete request to post slash and then the ID. So let's go to our routes just like we did with the put. I'm actually just going to copy that. And we're going to say route dot delete same URL. You can notice that you can make you can use the same URL. You just have to have different methods. All right. And then this is going to go to post controller destroy. Okay, we'll save that. Let's go to our controller. Let's create async destroy. Okay, so let's see. Destroy is going to take in params, session, and response. All right, and then we're going to just say const post equals, and we need to find it. So we need to use await post dot find. Pass in the ID, which comes from params. And then we want to just say await uh, post dot delete. Okay, we'll set our flash message and redirect. I'm just going to copy these two lines. I should have commented this better. Maybe I'll do that before I upload it to GitHub. But let's say post deleted. And we're going to redirect to posts. All right, so let's save. Let's go to post four and click delete. And there we go. Post deleted and post four is now gone. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for now, at least. Um, like I said, my, my initial plan was to do a crash course. This was, this is a little more than a crash course. Um, I do plan on adding authentication later on and then continuing the series. But, um, you know, if you guys want to take this application and continue yourself, you, of course, you can do that. I'll put the GitHub link in the description. But um, hopefully you learned something from this this little lecture or this little series. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like if you liked it. Please subscribe if you're not. And I will see you next time. Hey guys, if you've been watching my videos for a while and you really like what I do and I've helped you out a lot, consider becoming a patron. Even for $1 per month, it pushes me to keep bringing you guys the best content I possibly can. There's reward tiers for discounts, free Udemy courses, personal support, and more. So check out the Patreon link in the description below for more info.